So today I'm going to be focusing on our work with choline uh, as uh, done with some studies at the, at the University of Florida. So as you may know, choline is defined as a vitamin, or at least as a quasi-vitamin. <clears throat> it is an essential part of all mammalian cells. You can find choline in various forms in the body. Probably it's found most commonly in a compound called phosphatidylcholine. And phosphatidylcholine helps form a bilayer of lipids surrounding each mammalian cell that serves as a gatekeeper for letting other nutrients into the cell, cell crosstalk, and it makes up around 50% of the, all the lipids in a cell membrane. Now with other species, uh, the uh, deficiency of choline in diet often results in some very clear result, uh, negative effects. So for example, uh, with rats, dogs, and people, we know that if we are, have a diet that's deficient in choline, that we're going to get fatty liver. In fact, kind of the key recipe for creating fatty liver in a rodent is you simply uh, take choline out of the diet, add a little fat to the diet, and in three days you have fatty liver. In young chicks, choline is included in the diet in order to prevent slip tendon or porosis. In a series of, I think, 22 studies or trials involving over 500 sows, it was determined that choline helped uh, reduce, or a deficiency of choline resulted in uh, a reduced uh, weaned, weaned piglets by 0.4 per sow. So we know it's necessary for the lactating sow as well. Uh, regarding rats, uh, lack of choline has reduced feed intake, as well as weight gain by rat pups. The immune uh, system of the lactating rat is impaired if she doesn't have enough choline. And lastly, in, regarding it, its role in memory function with rats and people, a lack of choline has shown that the acuity, mental acuity of those species are reduced. So we have a pretty nice list of uh, benefits uh, that occur in species if choline is, is in, an, in the diet in sufficient amounts. So an essential nutrient, what is that? An essential nutrient has to be in the diet uh, because the animal can't synthesize enough of it to meet her requirements for that nutrient. What is the requirement? Uh, Back in I think, 1932, it was first identified as a nutrient for the dog. And 66, laters, 66 years later, we finally decided that the requirement for a, a pregnant mother should be 0.45 grams per day. Because choline is transferred across the placenta into the newborn in, in massive amounts. In addition, once the baby is born, and the mother is lactating. Choline is a key component of, of milk, and, sh and so the requirement for her is up a bit, up to 0.55 grams per day. The swine industry has identified the lactating sow as needing about three grams per day of choline to support her young. And then lastly, the dairy cow, we don't know what the requirement of choline is for her, but she's a mother, she's lactating like these other species, and if you project the amounts here, it may be that she requires about 12 grams per day, but that's yet to be determined. Dairying is more than a job, it's a calling. It's a lifestyle, one that takes dedication and real commitment. At Bell Camp, we've stood beside you for 50 years, providing the real results you can count on. Results that help you meet your goals and protect that lifestyle. Supporting you as the real face of dairy. That's our passion. That's our pledge to you. That's Balcam.